once has he stooped to babysitting to make ends meet. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, today I got cold brewskis for me. Ice cold root brewskis for my boys. Dad. Yeah. Here's shit. You got it, buddy. Go off. Nice pass, kid. All right. Dad. Uh, you're turning all red. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a warning label right there. You shouldn't open these in broad daylight in Detroit. Could cause an explosion. <laughs> wow, look at this warning label. Socks may strike husband unexpectedly. You could put an eye out like that. Boys, help me clean this mess up. Second half's about ready to begin. Here, hurry up. Now listen, don't get too involved in that, Tim. We have to get ready to go soon. Go? Where are we going? Dinner tonight, Chez Pierre. That can't be tonight. It most certainly is. Well, what about the big game? Well, what have you been watching all this time? This is the little game, right before the big game. <laughs> the big game's the Rams and the Lions. Why didn't you remind me about dinner? Now, don't pull that. I asked you yesterday if you had reconfirmed the reservations, and you said, uh-huh. And then I said, were they for 7 o'clock? And you said, uh-huh. And then I said, did you get the babysitter? And you said, uh-huh. So I guess that means you didn't get the babysitter, huh? Uh-uh. <laughs> Unbelievable. I completely forgot. We can't get a babysitter at this late hour. This is a tremendous disappointment. Yeah, I'll bet it is. This was supposed to be our romantic night out. Hey, romance? I got it. Why don't you and I go upstairs, turn the lights down, sit in bed, bottle of wine, and we can watch the game up there. You're not getting out of this with anything short of pneumonia. <coughs> Boy, it's funny you mentioned that. This morning, I horked up something nasty looking. <laughs> Shot right out of my lungs. Well, suck it back in. We're going to dinner. Whoa. You don't listen to like guys, you doofus. You can when they look as handsome as your daddy. You're looking pretty good yourself, sweetheart. Put a lid on it. Who'd you get to babysit for us, Linda? No, she finds you boys a little active. Good. She smells. Did you get Allison? No, honey, she's busy, but she sends her love. <laughs> Stop that. Sit, sit. Well, then who'd you get? Well, I, I found someone new. Go! 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 Yeah. Go get the door! Mrs. Taylor? Yes. Sir Larry Houdini, world's second greatest escape artist and magician extraordinaire. Hey, you're great. I saw you at Chris Johnson's birthday party. Oh, lovely little girl. Chris is a boy. Strange little boy. <laughs> but tell me, where are the birthday balloons, funny party hats, the pony ride? Well, um, actually, no one here is having a birthday. Well, you told me on the phone it was a birthday. I know. I lied. I'm so sorry. I was desperate. My husband didn't get a babysitter, and I called everybody I knew, and, and everybody was busy, and couldn't you just please stay? Never. Never. Sir Larry has performed prestidigitation before prime ministers, heads of state, two kings, and a cranky duke. And never once has he stooped to babysitting to make ends meet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Your name's here. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. You don't know what this means to me.